Hello everybody, it's me, Erno. Welcome to a review. A review, now I'm talking about Super, none of that shit. But a review of a um, mobile game. Now it is 5.47 in the morning, and I don't give a shit, okay? Now this is gonna be a review of, um, of Mobile Legends. It rebranded to Mobile Legends 5v5, bang bang. It's gay, but it's whatever, okay? Now this game is an MOBA. Which is basically just like slang for this is League of Legends. Now I've actually played League of Legends quite a bit, and I was about max level on League of Legends, and I could have actually been going into ranked, um, ranked you know tournaments and things like that. My name on there was Rendell Soul, and you know you can find me on there, but I'm not playing it anymore. It's not because I don't want to; it's because um, it's whatever. But but um, Mobile Legends. Now you see, Mobile Legends is an app that's basically League of Legends, but it's tweaked, and it's actually got its own kind of um, system, and attacks and aesthetics and everything. It's cool. The aesthetically wise, it's League of Legends, but it's more polished and relatively better looking, even though it's only on the uh, uh, on the phone. And um, I guess we'll dive into each category. And I know no one's probably watching this, but I actually thought that this was quite a Quite a good thing to review. Um, first, gameplay mechanics. Um, it's relatively the same as League, and you're gonna be here. You're gonna be hearing me say that a bunch throughout this video, but it still differs from it. And the game mechanics, um, they're clean. They go well. Um, you never really feel like you made a mistake. I mean, you feel like you make a mistake, but it's never really like, oh man, cheap piece of shit. Though there is lag and sometimes there is lag outs, it doesn't really get in the way of, uh, of a good gameplay experience as long as you have a good internet connection. This may or you know may not vary upon matches, but it is strange during ranked and like normal matches against bots is fairly okay, but like it really depends on every single last person's internet connection, and it can either vary from good to bad. Now movement is, you know, movement is it's. It feels good. Um, you do need boots or uh, to move faster and everything, but there's also like various things that you can get around, like uh, movement abilities, which don't do necessarily any damage in some people's cases. Unlike the characters like Bruno and Clint, and that that's who I can think of right now. And those characters uh, have movement abilities. Well, most people have movement abilities that are attacks that you can use to, as evasion. Or defensive tactics. While they're in, while these two characters aren't specifically tanks, they're more marksman range type people. They are, you know, pretty that they are viable. Okay, and that's, that's sorry. Movement. So movement's pretty clean. It's you don't really feel like you fuck up unless you actually fuck up yourself. You can blame the game, but the game doesn't really lag out enough for you to actually blame it. So you know. Next is um the shop system now the shop system league of legends except i haven't seen a selling option which is quite a problem if you want to like take your equipment and switch around to something else you can there while there is actually like an equipment scheme that you can't get that it auto checks to buy sometimes you want to branch off and not get that and i can understand that as someone who likes to just mix it up and not play game by game although playing game by game with the same item scheme is relatively a you know it's pretty it's pretty okay it's pretty like you know it's yeah it, it, it's completely viable and it's actually really fun to do now um, I'm sorry that I'm fidgeting around it's like it's 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 early morning and I've been playing this game I actually hopped straight out of the session ugh ah shit my light went off ugh. I'm actually uh, I actually just got I'm actually gonna play Mobile Legends right after this. But next we're gonna get into like, uh, yeah the store system is pretty okay, but it tracks you. You can get your own items, but it doesn't really recommend. You can set it for recommended so it over actually over thrives the you know, recommended items, which I've done a few times and it, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Shop system, it's okay. Attacking. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> now there's a lot to actually talk about this. Unless you're a character whose attacks actually go straight through multiple enemies naturally. 
attacking somewhat of a bitch. Now, in League... And this is something that I feel like League of Legends has done better than Mobile Legends. And... It's... Mobile Legends did it really kind of bad. Because there's an auto-lock feature, which is good. It's good. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's good. It's good for using your abilities and everything. But if they're not in range or whatever... You can't send any certain abilities out unless there's a unless there's an enemy in the range. And the attacks don't have varying range, they just have the range of your character, and then they just have all around that. And it's kinda okay. And they auto launch to hit opponents. But they can also get you into some very bad situations. If you have a dash move that um that's made to like attack people, it will auto lock to the people that it's supposed to dash into. And whether you're trying to get away and use that move for an escape. You'll kind of, you might get screwed a couple times unless you physically do it, which is kind of hard if it's programmed to actually, like, you know, just, like, fuck you up, okay? And it's also frustrating if you want to take down a turret, and sometimes there's, um, sometimes there'll be minions, they know it will go to the minions? Why trying to attack the turret with the valuable time you have left while people are coming back to the straight actually pull your butt down with no loot? And as you can tell, that's not really good. But combat is a seven out of ten. It's got a, it's got a good concept, and I actually do like the combat quite a bit. And it it actually move, makes for like exhilarating like battles. It, they're really they're really really good. Hold up, let me get let me get a drink right quick. This isn't sponsored either. Ah. Pepsi and Sunny B, you can't get any better than that. Oh shit, I might get a name drop. That's not good. But, yeah, uh, so... Combat's actually pretty good. And, you know, while some abilities can screw you, if you're not manually using where they go, you... You do feel like you... It's not your fault that you fuck up in some instances. Because sometimes someone's, uh, some other character's abilities will completely overwhelm you, and there won't be anything you can do about it. It's, it's just natural. You won't be able to, you won't be able to do anything about it, especially if they stick with their, with their, their things. Like if you are, um, I play ranged people. I also have uh, healing skills to help heal my people around me, but mostly me. It benefits me mostly. And they, and if you have maximum attack speed while you're like a gunner or whatever like um like the main gunner you play is Layla you win it doesn't matter if you build her scheme if someone else hasn't built a scheme that like beats her that's a counter to her then like someone with a shield there's actually a shielded character who's very OP I'd say they, they're super fucking OP if you're ranged of course and unless you're a counter you can't really fight certain people I mean, you can brute, you can brute force them if you want. We gotta get them by surprise, and you have to learn by the game. There are a couple more mechanics, but I'm not gonna get deep into that because I haven't discovered everything by myself. But I do strongly feel that the game has some hidden potential. That you know, it doesn't have hidden potential. It it can do better in that in that regard. Next is um. Next is the classic game mode. Classic game mode plays as um you know. League, nothing more, nothing less. There are there aren't dragons though, but there are opportunities to get something called the Lord and the Turtle, which are fucking way better than the Rift Herald and the fucking uh, Baron, Baron Asher. So bear, uh, those are from the respective series of Mo Mobile Legends and League of Legends. They function as the same purpose. Jungle has a lot less like shit to do, and it kind of has less maps. There's no there's not a three v three type thing, and um. I don't think there is. Oh shit, if there was a Twisted Tree line of Mobile Legends, I'd be fucking on that. Oh my god, I'd be... Mmm, I'd be straight chopping, niggas. It's not even funny. But yeah. And, Classic Mode, League of Legends. Um, Brawl Mode, League of Legends. But, it has less turrets. And, like, okay, so, okay. Someone, if you get an ace in the game, um, if you get an ace in brawl mode, you lose. 
If someone gets an ace in brawl mode on your team, you lose, basically. Unless their team doesn't push all the way or they suck ass. Like, those are the only two conditions that prevent them from straight ripping you straight through you. Because you only have two turrets and your base. Your nexus, basically. And your nexus, that's unprotected. It's unprotected. They get there. You have to fend them off. Which I can see why it would be more dire and make you play more. But it's also kind of a shitty way if there's nothing you can do. So, you know. Um, ranks mode, just the league map. Classic. It's just the classic league map. It's fun. It's fun. The characters. The characters are actually vastly different. They have different abilities. And although the, most of their characters' things are in the same range, it's... Still, there's still diversity. There's very much diversity in aesthetics in the characters and the actual movesets. While there are items that will prevent you from like doing this or that or whatever, um, it it doesn't really hinder any of the mechanics of the character. Um, like I said, I am actually a range type player, which is good and bad depending on what kind of like player you are. I would like to get into fighters, but I just it's just it just feels weird to me. Now, I know most fighters have like a, well, fighters are people with lower range that, you know, can just like, it's league. <laughs> it's league. Most of all fighters have dash abilities or abilities to catch and flip around, like a uh, Zun Zhao. Z Zhao, whatever, Zhao Zia. It's fucking, he can throw a spear, flip you around. It's basically um, Darius. I think it's Darius. I think Darius does that, yeah. There's also a Roadhog type guy. And I say he's Roadhog and not um, Blitzbot because he's a straight Roadhog like you, you yank him and then you pull him like bah it's like, like that Overwatch shit nah. it's like I said it's pretty good um, I actually like the game quite a bit and I feel like an actual review of the game was necessary because you see all the ads and you're like oh by the way voice chat don't there's no one ever on voice chat. If you want to voice chat, you have to say, let's voice chat everybody, and then they probably won't even give a shit. So, the voice chat thing in the most of the previews, that's bullshit. Um, by the way, if you get voice chat, and you see the previews where the, she's getting her ass kicked over and over, but it's like, go on to turn on voice chat. That wouldn't have been filled with help. That would have been filled with your douche and shit like that. And it's not good. It's not... And people shit talk. It's toxic, but not as much as League. There's people who are shitty and shit talk through the game. Which this isn't a qu this isn't a qualm with the game itself. It's more like a qu uh, a problem with the players. Players always make game shitty, but there's certain people like like there's a guy that's like we are gonna lose. I played with this guy recently, and he was just shit talking the entire match. He's on our side, by the way. And he, he spent all the time shit talking, but then he died a bunch. Granted, his stats were the highest, but like, he didn't do anything to help. He just shit talked, and it was just like, can you shut the fuck up? Like, please, actually please, before I have to fucking kill you and myself afterwards. I want to win, okay? That was during a brawl, too. So I'm not going to do brawls too much, because fucking shitheads. If you want to kill yourself after playing with a toxic player, it's just, just out of the time. This is an okay to say thing. Let's see how you put this right here. And it's fucking. Some of the people are just shit. And, um. Without going too in depth into everything else, um, that's all to Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends is a solid game. It's actually. I'm not sponsored. I clearly have like 10. I clearly have like seven fucking subscribers and I truly mean when I say this is a straight solid game you should play it um, if, and if you would like to add me at alpha ren or uh, it's a l p h a space r i e n that's my username and you know it's it's a really fun game I I'd recommend it 10 out of 10 no it's not fucking 10 out of 10 it needs internet to play. I didn't think I need to say that, but you know, some people are dumb. Voice chat, voice chat's not viable unless you fucking say it, and then they probably won't even do shit. So, well, I'm not gonna say it's a 10 out of 10. It's a really good game. So, 
you know, play it. And, you know, that's been all. And, um, you know, this has been Eat Ren. Signing out, everybody. <laughs> Peace.